I'm here at the SOHO meeting in Houston, and a few hours ago we had a session on non-Hodgkin lymphoma, and I spoke about double-hit lymphoma. Double-hit uh, lymphoma is an aggressive B-cell lymphoma. Um, about 10% of diffuse large B-cell lymphomas have got a MIC rearrangement, about 30% have got a BCL2 rearrangement, and about 4 or 5% have got both a MIC and a BCL2 rearrangement. Sometimes BCL6 is also rearranged um, in about 30% of cases. And whereas most uh, cases that have got a MIC and a BCL2 rearrangement are of the germinal center origin, um, with BCL6 rearrangements, they can be both of germinal center or activated B cell origin. And the reason that double hit lymphomas are important clinically is that they have an inferior outcome compared to regular diffuse large B cell lymphoma. Um, the cure rate for double hit lymphomas in, in both retrospective and prospective studies um, has been significantly lower than you would find for regular diffuse large B cell lymphoma. And a few years ago, the World Health uh, Organization classification, they introduced a new category called high-grade B cell lymphoma with uh, MIC, a rearrangement of MIC um, and BCL2 and or BCL6 um, to encompass uh, these double-hit lymphomas because they're biologically uh, distinct um, and also clinically distinct. Um, how they should be managed is uh, somewhat controversial uh, from Mostly retrospective studies, uh, it appears that they require an intensive approach. One of the challenges uh, with double hit lymphoma um, or with high grade B cell lymphomas is that most patients who have these diseases are older, usually in their 60s or 70s, and intensive therapies that we successfully use in diseases like Burkitt lymphoma are simply uh, not tolerated very well in this age group. Uh, Based on retrospective studies and its activity in Burkitt lymphoma, we uh, recently published a study using dose-adjusted EPOC-R in MIC rearranged uh, aggressive B cell lymphomas, uh, and approximately half of those lymphomas were double hit lymphomas. We treated 53 patients, and uh, we found that the outcome um, was very good, close to what we would expect for regular diffuse large B cell lymphoma, and interestingly, there was uh, no inferior survival for those cases that had a double hit versus those uh, that had a single MIC rearrangement. Just this week, uh, a huge study uh, came out um, looking at the um, Lunenburg Consortium results. Um, they looked at um, over 5,000 cases of diffuse large B cell lymphoma and were able to um, assay um, about 2,000 of them. Uh, for a MIC rearrangement, a BCL2, and a BCL6 rearrangement. And interestingly, they found overall that if you had a MIC rearrangement, you had an inferior outcome. Um, but when they delved deeper into it, um, having a single MIC rearrangement was not associated with a worse outcome. Uh, having double hit was associated with a worse outcome, but actually the double hit patients who had a worse outcome were those where the uh, partner gene that was rearranged with MIC was an immunoglobulin gene uh, versus not. So this was uh, really interesting data um, in this area. Uh, there are a lot of novel agents um, being developed uh, for tumors that overexpress MIC and BCL2, um, and these are in development. And today at our session, we talked about BCL2 inhibitors in diffuse large B cell lymphoma. Also, uh, CAR T cell therapy um, and bispecific antibodies um, have been um, investigated to a small degree in patients with relapsed or refractory uh, double hit lymphomas, and we have seen some interesting um, activity with these. Um, so I think right now, I think uh, an approach like dose adjusted epoch or is very reasonable based on a prospective multicenter study. We have a lot of novel agents, and uh, hopefully we will continue to improve the outcome for patients with this disease.